The Toyota 86 comes in two models, the GT and the slightly more fancy GTS. Both models give you the choice of six-speed manual and silky smooth six-speed automatic. Today, you're on board the automatic GTS. The 86 Coupe is powered by a two-litre, four-cylinder, horizontally opposed Boxster engine, which delivers 147 kilowatts of power. What does that mean? Well, better weight to power ratio, but mainly better performance, economy, and much improved power. Now, Wayne, I absolutely love the new 86, and Toyota's done a great job launching it. I heard, I heard that they have 30,000 Facebook likes before it was even released. Yeah, that's right, Aaron. The Toyota's really embraced the social media, and with the FJ Cruiser launch, there was over 4,000 followers on social media. With the 86, they've had over 30,000 followers. Which is fantastic. That's a huge following. Why do you think that is? I think Australia's been starved of that real sports car, so we've had the Celica and the MR2 been out of circulation for a little while, and it's been in the pipeline and it's contracted a lot of attention, and it's come together as a great package. I really love the layout of the 86 Coupe. It's got everything you need to keep you comfy. On the steering wheel, you get mounted paddle shifters in the auto, and you might notice there's nothing on there, no switches, nothing stopping you from driving it. That's because in the 86, the steering wheel is to drive the car. Nothing more, nothing less. The 86 Coupe has a wide range of advanced safety features. It's built on an extremely rigid frame featuring high-grade tensile steel. It comes with vehicle stability control, traction control, an advanced braking package with anti-skid braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist and seven airbags. At night, the 86 comes to life. Its efficient, high-intensity discharge self-leveling headlights bring its front-on profile alive. Approaching vehicles could be forgiven for thinking they were being stalked by a dragon, not a sleek coupe. And that's the great thing about the 86. Day or night, it makes an impression. Now, before some of you ride in, just hear me out for a second. You see, Toyota aren't suggesting we become race car drivers or hoons. What they are suggesting is that we take control of what we drive and enjoy it. And with the 86 Coupe, that's exactly what Toyota have done. They've given us back our right to drive and not be driven. Now, if you don't follow me, drop into City Toyota, jump onto citytoyota.net.au or follow the links from Zoom TV and you'll understand exactly what I'm saying.